Good morning, Floss Tube. My name is Laura, and I'd like to welcome you to my cross stitch channel, Stitching by the Shore. If you are new, I want to say welcome. Thank you so much for hitting play, and I hope you like what you see. And if you do, please press subscribe and come back for more. If you are a returning viewer, I'd like to give you an extra special thank you, thank you, thank you. It really means so much to me that you come back and watch and check out what I'm stitching. Uh, more than I could ever tell you is, is all I could say. I appreciate it more than you'll even know. So thank you. I really like that. Um, my life is probably like your life right now. We spent this last week um, home with uh, remote learning for my two children and remote work for my husband. Um, we just found out this morning that my daughter's college is shutting it down for the semester. She's not allowed to go get the stuff from her dorm right now, um, so which is good um, that we don't have to rush. I've heard of some parents had to, they were given a two, three day window and they have to get the stuff out. Um, her school is basically saying it's staying there for now and we will tell you when you can come and get it. So, uh, um, so she's home. She's a little disappointed, um, but you know, it, it's tough. You don't expect your freshman year to go that way, but we kind of knew it was coming and she's resilient, so she'll be okay. And uh, she did say to me, um, maybe you can find me another cross stitch pattern and maybe I'll stitch with you. So we might get some stitching, mother daughter stitching time in while she's home, which will be nice um, as well. Uh, I wanted to say thank you to all of you who make floss tube videos. I have to tell you that with uh, my high school son in one room uh, doing remote learning, my daughter in another with hers, and my husband uh, in another room with his work, um, I plug in my my earphones, my headphones, and I turn on floss tube and I grab my stitching, and um, I just get away from it all for a little while. Uh, so thank you for your efforts for putting out videos. Um, I know of one person who's doing daily videos, Caroline from Off the Grid Needle Arts. She does, she's been doing, I think about 20 minutes a day um, with the different cross stitch and she knits um, and crafty stuff. She's lovely and really uh, nice to listen to. Um, I, I really enjoy watching her. So if you've not watched her before and you like daily videos or you need a little ray of sunshine um, in your day, uh, I would suggest giving her a try. I will link her down below in the subscrip uh, de subscription description box um, so you can check her out. Another person you, if you wanna check out um, is somebody that I'd like to say thank you to. Lisa from Crossed by Floss uh, gave me a shout out in her video last week. So thank you, Lisa. I really appreciate that. If you don't watch Lisa, um, you're missing some great stitchy, stitchy goodness. But she also had fabulous haul from Market. Um, in fact, multiple hauls. So if you want to see some really great, great stuff that she picked up from Market, um, go check out her videos. Um, there's some really uh, fun stuff that she showed and some fun stuff that uh, she uh, uh, will uh, has put in her video. I can't talk this morning. I've had to do this video, this is the third time. And it's not my kids and it's not my husband, it's the dog. He has interrupted the video two other times and he's usually quite good about that. But I don't know, maybe with everybody home, he's a little bit antsier, um, so. I was worried about one of the kids making noise. Um, this week I have no finishes. Uh, I have been doing, what I've really been trying to do with my works in progress is pick a small section, work on that, feel a sense of accomplishment by finishing that part and then move on to something else. One, because I think I get bored if I just spent the whole week working on one. I'd probably have a finish, but I'd go crazy. And two, I want to make, I want to feel like I'm accomplishing something on multiple projects. These are just a small amount of my whips that I'm showing in the whips. I have a whole bunch in my Trader Joe's canvas bag um, that right now are just sitting to the side. Um, and then there's a whole other bunch that are kitted up, well, floss and the pattern, not always the fabric, because I haven't always decided, in another Trader Joe's canvas bag. Um, that are ready, sometimes ready to go, sometimes just need fabric. Um, so I have lots of other things, but if I can find some focus on, uh, right now it's, I think there's five or six whips uh, each week, and I, I touch them a little bit, I, I feel like I, um, 
am accomplishing something. And right now, when I am stuck home, I, I feel that need to accomplish something. Um, I, I, it definitely feels like I need to have control of something. And this I can control, and I can control my, how much I finish. So that's, that's what's, what's been working for me. Um, I know everybody has a different style, and some people just wanna stitch one thing till they finish, and that's awesome, because then you get, you get to see some great things. Um, quickly um, and maybe you're like me and you like to have a bunch of works in progress it's all good however you want to work it but I didn't well I didn't have finishes I did want to say thank you to crafty cat wanted, crafty cat stitcher um, she had recommended Va Vanna Pfeiffer's site learn to finish or whatever it might be called you all probably know about it much more than I do um, but she has a whole bunch of tutorials some of which are non so um, when I was talking about my little shamrock with the um, personalization, I, how I wanted to finish it, I wasn't sure I wanted to teach myself to sew right now, um, which is not off the table. I have enough time. Um, but uh, <laughs> uh, there's other options out there. So thank you, Crafty Cat. And I did not realize Crafty Cat has a floss tube and she has a whole bunch of videos. So I'm going to link her down below too because you may have already discovered her, but if you haven't, um, hey, I'm just gonna have a whole list of people you can watch by the end of this video. Um, and if there's any that you uh, would recommend to me that I absolutely am missing out by not watching, always let me know. And if you have a, a floss tube, please let me know because I really, really enjoy watching them, especially right now. Uh, all right, let's go to whips. My first one that I want to talk about is the Carriage House Samplings Comfort Lighthouse. I love the blues in this. So, so pretty. So I had done this area and then I had started the mermaid. And her tail is so cool. It's two or three colors, three different colors. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get the mermaid done this week. Eh, no. So I pulled her out and she wasn't the first one I had pulled out this week and the day I pulled her out, I just was not feeling really paying attention and counting and you really have to pay attention and count. So I decided instead, I was gonna come over here and work on the ship. I thought I could get it all done in a week. Mm -mm. Nope, apparently ships are like houses. <laughs> they are never ending. So that's how far I got with that. I'm almost there. I really just have the bottom part and the little bit of what would be considered water. So my goal this week will be to finish that. And up here is the um, north, south, east, west weather vane. Oh my gosh. I think that's what it's called. How awful is it? It's been a long week. So that, here, let me show you this little guy right here. <coughs> so that is what I want to work on. This is done on Confederate Gray, Ada. And if you are new to my channel, um, I have everything you're gonna see here is 18 count Ada. I haven't made the jump to all the over twos. And I don't know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Not this week. <laughs> this week it's gonna be all 18 count Ada. Next is my ongoing Christmas rules. I worked on Listen for Reindeer. So I'd done the roof in the house color. Had to rip all of that out. Not sure what happened there. Um, and then I made some mistakes in the words. So I put it away in timeout for a few days and then I worked on it again. I think right now my stitching, I'm going to look at it as what am I watching um, at night uh, when I'm stitching? This one we happened to watch Star Wars. When I started stitching that. Maybe I was so into the movie because I hadn't seen it in a while. This is the big Christmas rules. I can't, I have to move really back to show it. And that's where we are right now. I have watched more movies this week than I probably have watched all month. And a quite a variety. We have watched Star Wars, Knives Out, Frozen, and oh, for St. Patrick's Day and Honor St. Patrick's Day, Quiet Man. So if you have a recommendation for any movies, everything but horror, that's the one thing that I don't watch, let me know because apparently that's going to be my nighttime activity is watch movies. Next is Hang Mistletoe. 
Now, I would say that this is going to go quick because there's a lot of words, but I said last week would go quick and I kept making mistakes, so I'm not going to say that this time. <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, moving on. Cottage garden samplings. I want to say every time I pull one out, I'm like, oh, this is my favorite of my whips, and then I pull another one out and I say, oh, that's my favorite. I really like this one. I like it a lot. This is done on Picture This Plus Shale. It's got a little bit of a purpley tint. When I um, grabbed it from 123 Stitch, it definitely looked grayer in the picture, but it does have a purple tint to it, which I like. Um, I remember I was concerned about whether or not I would have any room on the uh, side. I have tons of room. It always looks like as you're going that you're not gonna have enough. So I finished Creepy, and then I finished Frankenstein. I did Frankenstein, which was a nice long word, and I had a little bit of room, so I went down to Jinx. So my goal this week would be to get this row. Um, I have goblins, and then I need to do Halloween, and I think it's imitate and finish Jinx, and maybe stitch the crow. But I am I am definitely liking this. It. Um, a picture of this plus, if you've not used it, is softer than a lot of the Ada I have used. So it will definitely hang more when you stitch. I um, I stitch in hand and I'm, I stitch lefty. I'm not lefty. I'm a right-handed writer, but I stitch lefty. I eat lefty. I do a lot of things lefty for some reason. So here my stitches feel a little bit um, wonkier, for want of a better word, because I feel like it, my tension's not as good, but... I'm working it out and I feel like each row I'm getting a little bit better with it. So um, we'll just keep working on that. Next, we have Summer ABCs from Little House Needleworks. I am determined to get this one done. I feel like it should go faster, but it seems to take me longer than I thought it would. I did N O P and all the stuff with it. And then I kept going with QRS. Um, because I was on a roll and they were all the same color. So I just kept going. So I definitely wanna work on QRS, the pictures on the side. I would say I'd go farther, but there's a house there. And you know me in, you know me in houses. <laughs> they take me forever. So it looks small and in theory, it shouldn't take me that long, but I am not making any promises. I thought that house and uh, Comfort Lighthouse wouldn't take me that long either. Days. All right, the last of my whips that you have seen. Oh, and this was on Vintage Country Mocha. Um, the last of the whips that, uh, this was a start, a new start last week. Suffrage Act, Little House Needleworks. I love this one. There is a sale going on for this one. Um, SWTS Suffrage Sal, stitching with the sisterlies. Um, this is done on coffee tea dyed of my own, Ada. So, you know, you really, remember last week I talked about, I had started the poll in the called for DMC and uh, it was fading right in. This is the color. And I mean, in theory, looking at it, you'd think it would pop up a little bit more, but it completely faded in and I was worried about her dress. Um, so I grabbed 3865. It's not the brightest. I mean, I, B5200 was way too bright. So I grabbed this one and that's what uh, has come up. And I really like how it's showing up. Um, so I'm glad I made the change and I think her dress is gonna look a lot better. Um, so I got that all done. I got a lot of the words done. I actually would have had more words done. I was chugging along because my goal was at first to get the whole thing word wise done. Uh, oops, and I had done pro for proclaimed. Well, not paying attention, for some reason when I saw the round part of the O, I thought I had done the C. So then I stitched the L. Luckily, I <laughs> realized it before I stitched the whole word. So I pulled out the L because I did not want proclaimed. I needed proclaimed, and I put it away um, because I just. I just couldn't if I had skipped a letter for this. So that will be my goal. I definitely want to finish the words. 
they they're easy well if you pay attention to what letter you're on um, but they take me long enough so I, I'd really like to get the top part finished and then really start digging into the girl and getting her done maybe get some of her dress done this week so that is that is the goal for this week um, on that one especially spelling everything right <laughs> And then yesterday, um, yesterday was a dreary, dark, cold, uh, it, was, it was just an awful day. Um, and as a result, I really needed a new start. I, w I was feeling it, um, you know, uh, at the beginning of the week, the weather was nice. I had all the windows open. My allergies don't like that, but the fresh air has been so nice. Um, but yesterday, I, I just... It was just so gloomy that I said, I need a new start and I need something bright and cheerful. If I had a Satsuma street, I may or may not have some of those coming. If I had a Satsuma street, I might have started that because her colors are so bright and so fabulous that um, I would have done that. But I pulled out Tiny Modern, Tiny, Tiny Modern, Modernist. I swear I can say it. Modernist, her summer signs. And I'm, gonna, I'm working on right now, Ocean Breeze. And Ocean Breeze puts the mind at ease. I needed that. I really needed that yesterday. And I liked, I liked how she did it in the, in the white. So I pulled out, I have some white Ada that I have not, coffee tea dyed. I've also thought about, I drink a lot of tea and a lot of them are herbal teas. And they, have, they make my tea a really pretty color. And every time I drink one of those, I think I want that would look like on fabric so one day I might take a bunch of smaller pieces throw in a tea bag in a pot and see what I get <coughs> excuse me I swear I'm not sick just allergies um this border took me way longer than I it, it's in, in fact I, the outer border I did yesterday and then I started the inner and I needed a break I said I got to do something else so I also worked on the little Sailboat, little sailboat. I mean, these are small. In theory, I should have gotten more done, but for whatever reason, the outline was taking me a while. But that's okay. So that is my new start this week. I have I have started a new start every one one a week um, this month, and. I, I'm just I'm just feeling the need for something new, especially as the week chugs along. So that may be that may mean that there's a new start next week. Maybe though, maybe this is small. Maybe I can get a finish on this one. I think I'd like to stitch. I was thinking of stitching the sand, life is better at the beach, and the ocean. And these two have the same border. This one's different. And maybe doing like some sort of three across, whether they're each individually framed in three across or put them somehow on something and frame them as a triptych of sorts. I don't know. That's, that's to be determined as I can figure out finishing. I am not a finishing whiz, however you look at it. But that, uh, that is the plan. And I figure I just need something summary. Um, to work on, to look forward to summertime. Uh, because hopefully at that point, everything will be back a little bit to normalcy around us. Um, looking ahead, like I said, I might have a new start next week, we'll see. Um, I have some patterns that I've gotten. I will show you a few that I got. Um, and of course, I think there's a few more coming. Sometimes I get stuff that's on back order and then um, you get a nice little notice that you've got a package coming so that's almost like a little treat that you weren't expecting I was not stitching during a mania last week uh, last week last year uh, so I haven't experienced that have you are you guys looking ahead to what your plans are for mania I don't know what to do uh, I'm kind of up in the air on that one if I want to do new starts if I want to pull out previous starts and, and have focuses on that. Um, so if you're doing mania, set, put your plans down below because I would love to hear what you're doing. Um, I'd really be interested in it. All right, let's do a little, uh, little bit of shopping that I did and then I will pick the giveaway winner. Um, 
All right, so this is a whole bunch. Now, see, all of you are buying all the brand new, fun new stuff from Market, and I went backwards. This set from Country Cottage Needleworks is 2017, and then I have a Plum Street, and that is also, I think, yeah, 2017. So I am going back in time um, to pick up some patterns that I didn't have. I picked up the um, Main Street set. I just, I love that idea. I love, kind of reminds me of like a Gilmore gir girlish type of um, Stars Hollow vibe uh, with it. So I, I no idea what I would do with these. I'll stitch them up and then see. So we have the post office. If you have stitched these yourself, whether single ones or as a group, please please let me know um, and I'd love to check out what you did with them. This one is the grocery, the cafe, we have the dress shop, the art gallery, coffee shop, bookstore, flower shop. And the last one of those is the bakery. Now, I know some of the Country Cottage, uh, the different groups on the website, there is uh, like borders or things. I don't know if this does. I'm going to have to look and see. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to make the commitment to one giant piece on these or I, I like doing them little and then um, I don't know what I do with them. Maybe I would, depending on their colors, some of them could be seasonal. I don't know. But, and they're all houses. I am going to like houses and get really good at houses with all the stitching. Then the other one is a Plum Street Samplers. Um, it's called Betsy's Autumn. It kind of reminds me of Cinnamon Stars a little bit. I love autumn. It's so funny. I, I, I love autumn, but I love spring and I love summer. I don't love winter. So if you were to ask me on any given time which season I love best, it would probably change with the season. Happy spring. I think, are we at the first day of spring? Hopefully. I think we are. So happy spring to you. Um, but this is Betsy's Autumn. I love the colors. I just love the whole thing about it. So that is also potentially on the table at some point. Although I think, I, I don't know, I might start Cinnamon Stars before. I'm not sure. I love them. I love them both. All right. So last week I told you that I had gotten a Dinky Dyes uh, in an order. Um, it was an extra in an order, which was such a wonderful thing for the store to do. It is Hawthorne, eight meters of silk. I, I am not ready for silk. I don't even know. Do you do the same thing with silk? I don't know. But I thought I would like to give that away. So I asked you to tell me what your favorite color is. Now, I am really high tech. We have my little bowl. I have everybody's names in here. And I am just going to pick out a name. That's how I do it. I don't know how to figure out all of the fancy pick a, pick a comment type of thing. And then inserting that into the video. Mm -mm, not happening. All right. So the winner. I'm not going to look. I grabbed one here. The winner is Amy Goldun, uh, and her favorite color was blue, which I might have to say right now is a pretty good uh, choice for me. Um, I loved reading all of your different colors. So Amy, if you could please get a hold of me, I have my Gmail listed below. Um, I also am on Instagram. Now I don't know, if you don't follow somebody on Instagram, can you DM them? I, I have to ask my kids. Um, I know that a lot of people may not follow me on Insta because I do everything. It's my stitching, it's my shop, it's my family, uh, my dog, you get it all. And I know not everybody wants to, to um, look at that if they're just interested in say stitching. Um, but uh, if you wanna DM me and you can, and I'm public, you could, you could probably follow me, DM me, and then if you don't wanna stay following me, just unfollow me. Um, but Amy, if you could get a hold of me, that would be fantastic. Thank you so much for everybody who wrote and commented. I, it, I revisited so many colors that I love. I, I, I think I realized that I love color. Um, and so it was, it was a lot of fun to read 
what everybody's favorites were um, at any given time. Now, I do, um, I do want to do a giveaway when I get to 250 subscribers. I looked, well, I looked yesterday and I was at 240. And then this morning I was at 239. Somebody unsubscribed, but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. I'll get there. I will get there at some point. Um, but when I get to 250 subscribers, fingers crossed, maybe next week, um, I would like to have another giveaway because again, I am so appreciative of all of you who subscribe, who watch, who take the time to support me. I, you are my link to the stitchy world. I have no in-person stitchy friends. I've never been to a retreat. I don't stitch. I stitch alone. Um, so you are a wonderful bridge for me and you keep me company and, uh, personalize the hobby for me. So thank you so much for that. And I'd like to do a giveaway to say thank you for that because that it does, it means a lot. And on that note, I want to tell you that I hope you all have a great week. Um, we're just going to keep chugging along. Um, I hope you are well and until next time, happy stitching.